Today I'm talking about how to use a shotgun microphone outdoors on a budget when it's windy. Welcome to A4Q, the show where I answer your film and content creator questions. Today's question is how to use this, and they were specifically how to use the Audio-Technica 875R outdoors because it does have a little bit of an issue that other mics don't. So let's take a look at that. Most people aren't gonna spend like more than their mic on a big blimp like this. So what do you do? You want to use a little, you know, one of these slip-on uh, windshields. And a normal shotgun microphone, you put it in there and you still have plenty to use, you know, plenty of the barrel of the mic to use with your shock mount. Then there's this one. The interference tubes are still just as long as most Shotgun microphones may be a little bit shorter, but when you put it in the windshield, you end up with this problem right here. There's not enough microphones sticking out to use this on your boom pole. So what do we need to solve? We need a way to mount this to our boom. We need, uh, it needs to absorb the shock of handling noise and it needs to be cheap. So we need to be able to mount it, we need to be able to hold this microphone, and we need it to be inexpensive. Luckily, I have a solution, and on another older video I have a shock mount that I built out of some gear ties, and that is how I would use that on this one, um, but I would mount it on the actual muff, and that works just fine. I've never had any issues with that, so I mount it in the back and the front. But I have a new way of doing the shock mount that's way better than I was using um, three years ago or four, three or four years ago when I posted that video. I'm gonna make a new video and I'll put a link somewhere around here as to how to build the new version of that shock mount. So I'm gonna just put it together real fast and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's our boom. You could use, you could do this on a broom handle. It doesn't matter what you, uh, what method you use when you do this. So it doesn't take a whole lot of time to put one of these together. These gear ties are really handy. I make all kinds of stuff with them. I think what I'm gonna do is just make a little playlist of different things that you can do with these gear ties and leave them in your camera bag. They're super handy. All right, so here is just a quick rough version of the shock mount. And let me pull this to the side. All right, so here we are with the shock mount and it holds it just fine, like here. And it gives it a little bit of uh, vibration. This actually works really well. Um, to absorb the shock of handling a lot better than than most of the store-bought ones. It does take a little bit of getting used to setting it up, but that said, this is how you would use this microphone setup outdoors in windy conditions. Leave your film and content creator questions in the comments below. I'm always looking for interesting questions to answer here on A4Q. Love y'all. See you next time.